everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and on this channel I share my food and other life experiences with you. And in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a few easy microwave recipes which can help you save time and eat that home cooked meal even when you're in a rush. So I find microwave cooking really helpful in cases where I'm either feeling too lazy to like put together multiple utensils and just you know do the whole tam tam of cooking or when I have a lot of leftovers in the fridge and I just want to put together something really really quickly so I feel that in a microwave you can do all of these things really quickly and easily and for this I'm going to be sharing five different recipes with you and I'm going to be using the Bosch convection microwave oven so without further ado let's straight jump into some easy microwave cooking so the first recipe is some masala rice and you can use whatever vegetables you like in this. I have some tomato, carrot, capsicum and onion. Make sure they are finely chopped and also take some elaichi or cardamom and some dalchini or cinnamon for a little extra flavour. Also get some spices. I have turmeric, cumin or jeera powder, coriander or dhania powder, red chilli powder, garam masala and some salt. You need to soak your rice for about 15-20 minutes before cooking. Add all the ingredients in a microwave safe bowl and you can also add some chilli but I totally skipped it. Once you add everything add some water and mix really really well and lastly also add some ghee. Then it's time to put this in the microwave. You can set it on high for about 18-20 to 20 minutes. But this Bosch microwave already has some inbuilt recipe functions so I can literally just choose the option and get cooking immediately. Once it's done, carefully take out the bowl and you have some masala rice ready. This is a really good lunch option especially on working days. Next is a really quick gravy that can be used with paneer or any vegetables. For that you need tomato puree and this is literally raw tomatoes that have been through the blender. I haven't cooked them before pureeing them. You also need some onion paste. You can even use finely chopped onions. Some ghee or oil, some ginger garlic paste and some masalas. I have red chilli powder, turmeric, garam masala, coriander powder and cumin powder. Put everything in a microwave safe bowl and also add a little bit of water. Stir it well, put it in and set your microwave to high and this can take about 20 minutes to cook but halfway through just open it once and give it a stir. I like to take it out a couple of minutes before the end time to see if the consistency is fine like salt is okay and the stuff has gotten cooked properly. So here I found the salt a little lesser, I'm just adjusting that. And once it's done, I just add a little bit of butter, some dried methi or fenugreek leaves and put in some paneer pieces. And this gravy actually turns out perfectly tangy and flavorful even in the microwave. Next is a really quick dry sabzi in a microwave. So I have some cauliflower, capsicum, onion. I also have some basic spices, some ginger garlic paste and some oil and butter. And ideally I would have used chopped tomatoes but since I have a bit of puree left with me I'm going to be using that instead. So just add all the vegetables, the masalas, the ginger garlic paste and the puree. Add the oil and butter and just mix it really really well and put it in the microwave for about 15 minutes and then your sabzi is ready. Next thing I've been loving is fries but ones that are baked or made using the fry light option in this Bosch microwave. So I basically have potatoes that are placed on this rack which comes with the microwave itself and you just place them and choose the fries function. They take about 20 minutes to get ready and here you need to add the oil just a minute before the timer ends. So that's what I did and I'm putting them back in and there you have it fries with minimal oil. Last but definitely not the least is this quick mug cake to fulfill dessert cravings. For this you need some cocoa, some dark chocolate, maida or all-purpose flour, milk, vanilla essence, sugar and a pinch of salt and baking soda. Take a mug that's microwave safe and add all the ingredients in and mix it really well. Make sure there are no lumps and put it in the microwave on high for about a minute to 90 seconds. It'll fluff up a little bit so make sure you don't fill it like right to the top. Keep some space in the mug. 
and this is how the mug cake looks it is really really messy right now but trust me it's very delicious i will leave a link to this bosch a microwave in the description box below so in case you want to read about its features you know where to go so that was really it from me in this video. I hope these recipes were helpful. If you have some really simple microwave cooking tips, then do let me know in the comments below. And if you end up trying out any of these dishes, then tag me on your pictures on Instagram. My Instagram handle is on the screen here. And make sure you're following me there too. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!